You've heard it all by now. In fact, it's pretty much all you've heard. Russian hacking, collusion, the undermining of our democracy. It's a relentless, never-ending theme in Congress, in the media. The only solution we are told day after day is an all-encompassing investigation continuing without end until the guilty parties are found and punished severely. And yet, let's go back to the core allegation. Some members of the intelligence community are not convinced it's true. The group Veteran Intelligence Professionals for Sanity, or VIPS, has been looking at the evidence of Russian hacking and says a lot of it does not add up at all. Bill Binney worked at the NSA for more than 30 years. He's a member of VIPS, and he joins us tonight. Mr. Binney, thanks a lot for coming on. So, well, thanks for having me. Well, just, just to be absolutely clear with our audience, what you're saying is not just that the president didn't include with Russia. You're calling into question the core allegation which is that Russia is responsible for hacking in to the DNC's servers. <clears throat> Why would you call that into question since every smart person in Washington knows that happened? <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> I give up. No, <laughs> first of all, uh, when this first came out last year, about a year ago, I started opposing that uh, simply because of the way the intelligence community was talking and knowing that the NSA, for example, has all the fiber optic taps across the United States and even around the world, plus trace route, trace route programs embedded in hundreds of places all over the network. So I knew they would know if, uh, if packets were being passed around the U.S. or outside the U.S. or anywhere in the world, they could trace them and see who got them. I mean, they did that several years ago with the Chinese hack that came in and said it came from that building, I think, in Shanghai. Well, they could do the same thing with virtually any hack. So... My, right away, I began to question that uh, assertion that they were hacking into the DNC. Uh, <clears throat> then uh, we had some, a fellow who uh, uh, basically uh, had access, it seems to me he had to have access to the network log of the DNC server, which means that any transactions going into and out of the DNC network log get re registered or in, uh, logged inside that log, and it goes into a list of who, what packets come in from what IPs and so on, and going back and forth. Right. So uh, <clears throat> that uh, that uh, that to me uh, said that uh, from there he listed out the data, the raw data from the transactions in the log, which meant the time the transmission started, the time it ended, the amounts of data passed, uh, you know, and the and any other uh, identifying I, IPs are buried in those packets that were passed too, if the NSA would ever give them to you. <laughs> Uh, but I think this is probably one of the reasons the, the DNC didn't let the FBI look at it, because it would show <clears throat> that at the rate, see, it, it was taken out at the rate of, uh, uh, well, 1,976 uh, 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 megabytes, or uh, <clears throat> it was taken out at, and, and, at, and you make the point that, that it seconds. was moved too fast. <clears throat> right, so it, right. it couldn't <clears throat> have yeah. gone out over the internet. It had to have been taken directly in person from the computer, downloaded onto some sort of mobile storage device. So given that, given that the NSA clearly doesn't have the evidence it would have if it happened, and that it couldn't have been hacked over the internet, then why right. is everyone in government still pretending that's what happened? That's the confusing part to me. Well, I guess uh, uh, it, it appears that uh, many people are emotionally tied to this agenda uh, to tie the Russians with uh, President Trump and the Trump administration. Uh, one way or the other, they want to do it. So they, it, they, it's hard for them to give up that argument. I mean, it's like uh, they're emotionally stuck with it. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I mean, we in VIPs try to look at things uh, just uh, straightforward. What are the facts? Find the exact uh, facts right. in the case. and and then make a decision from that, not from, not from other agendas driving us or anything that's motivating us to do or say things that uh, we can't substantiate with facts. So, uh, th and that's the problem, you see. Everything that's come out about this issue hasn't been backed up by facts at all. The only facts we've been able to well, get are Well, I've noticed that. Some... So let me just ask you one last quote. Yeah. <clears throat> right, they're, they're generalizations, and you're supposed to accept right. them and then be quiet and just sort of obediently nod, and of course the <clears throat> intel community says that it must be true. As someone who worked in that community for your entire adult life, are you struck by how all of a sudden people who know nothing about how it works are demanding that everyone else accept these assumptions that have no factual basis? Yeah. Well, it's, it's kind of hard to believe, but I, I guess uh, 
they're they're applying the old sophistic rule from from ancient Greece, you know, when they they would say simply repeat the argument over and over again from many different directions by many different people, and eventually it gets believed. <laughs> That's the exact philosophy that Adolf Hitler had. If you're going to tell a lie, tell it often until it gets believed. Make it a big one too. So you know, I, I, we just only keep people, to get right? You have to be crazy not to accept it. I know, I know. And let me just no, say for right. the record, I, mean, I know some of the people involved in your group, and I, you know, they're not Trump voters. So this is not some sort of right wing group here, uh, from what I can tell. Bill Benny, thanks a lot for joining us. It's nice to have someone on who actually knows something about the subject. That rarely happens. All right, uh, appreciate Thank it. Thank you.